Trying to get me in my dream, but all my demons died out. I feel so alive now. You can't kill my vibe now. You can't bring my heart down. I can feel the energy, and yes, the past is history. Happy meditation keeping me away from misery. Walking through the galaxy when I wake up back to reality. I get so fucking high. I can't feel anything. Light another blunt, all my problems start to train. In my cup, cause it numbs my brain. I'm so fucked up that I can't think. I'm so fucked up that I can't think. I get high, everything is okay. Even though I'm high every second of the day. Yeah, I've been through this before, so it's just a replay. Yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing. I get high, everything is okay. Even though I'm high every second of the day, yeah, I've been through this before, so it's just a replay. Yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing. I get high, everything is okay. Even though I'm high every second of the day, yeah, I've been through this before, so it's just a replay. Yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing. I get high, everything is okay. Even though I'm high every second of the day. Yeah, I've been through this before, so it's Jay just a replay. Yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing. Hola. Good morning, jerk offs. I have a surprise for everyone bow it's kayla <laughs> good morning i started heard, that mute shit already i was on mute but hey. we heard you uh we heard the beep that you came in and t-rup's like oh jody's back oh cool i go i don't know bro i'm i'm sharing i have no idea <laughs> that's <laughs> kayla. the real brand it's me. <laughs> i'm back Yes. What's up, Kayla? Good morning, Jess. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you doing, Kayla? What you been up to? I'm good. I've been working my life away. Um, yeah, and adulting. It's fun. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. Love you, bro. Uh, I'm gonna come to dinner. I'll be I'll be at dinner. I don't know if I'll be right on time, but I'm going to my grandpa's funeral. And then I will be at dinner. Look at that beautiful hat T Rup's got on. I almost made a smart comment. I definitely am glad yeah. I did not make a smart comment to that one. Also, uh, T Rup has a beautiful hat that he's got from his grandpa, and I definitely made a start smart comment. He did. He said it's too small for your head. I said, I know, dickhead. And I also said, you kind of look like Kyle. <laughs> 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 Oh shit! Awesome. Uh, T Rup, what what did you do yesterday? Me? Yeah. Uh, he doesn't remember. Brain injury. Jay, man. What did what you did do it? yesterday, John? Okay. I went down and moved my uh, moved all the stuff out of my grandpa's apartment. And okay. We, so we don't gotta pay rent uh, the next month if we so, hurried up and got it out. What I did was yesterday. I don't know till. Well, it was like one o'clock. We were over here writing a new parody. We were making a, writing a new script for a video. Um, we got 
tear ups video part done. Patty's going to come back over today and we're going to film his part and then I'll be spending the day putting it together. That's awesome. How exciting. Yeah. What's up, Rita? Good morning. Good Sorry morning. About Thank you. Thank you, Rita. Uh, the, the mayor told me to uh, light it up. Uh, the mayor told me to send his condolences to my family. Awesome. I'm fucking great. That's awesome. The mayoral candidate. Future mayor. Future mayor. Um, if you don't know, now you know. And if you're not registered to vote in Monroe County, go do it. Please. Or the city. Pretty please. Either way. If you live in Monroe, go register to vote and vote Dev. Vote Rucker. for Dev. I know we don't to get into politics, but this is about as far as we'll get. Yep. Vote for Dev. Even if you he's don't a live good, in Monroe, he's a he's a good friend. In. He's a good guy, and he he's really a genuine does. genuine guy too. Yes. On top of that, he's not. He's he doesn't placate. He's he really cares about guy. the community. Like Kayla mm -hmm. said, he's super genuine. Like he's he's everything that I would want in a leader. Yep. Absolutely. Hundred percent. From the city. For the city. Yep. Dev Rucker. What up, Brenda? Good morning. How's how's your how's your red beard doing over there too? Yeah, I, how are heard, you guys? I heard he had the COVID or was the not COVID. feeling good or something. He I helped her with a succulent last night. Brenda. Brenda? Yeah, she texted me on Snapchat and she's like, Hey, your mom knows a lot about plants, so I got something to ask you. And I was like, <laughs> Well, well, <laughs> ask if, away, sweetheart. <laughs> everybody, if you don't want to ask T-Rup for help, you can always download the app. Picture this. Mm -hmm. I stopped asking T-Rup for help months ago because of that yep. app. And it's great. Oh. My plants are thriving. He feels like shit. Damn. Uh, uh, it is. It's like 75% accurate. The pitch of this. It's yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's not fully, but it is like damn near. Um, come on, come on, Ryan. I almost said, come on, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan says, come to Lefty's Steak Cheese Steak Monroe. Uh, pfft, come to Lefty's Cheese Steak Monroe. I want to do it. Okay, you read. Take your time. <laughs> I want to conquer this. Breathe. Come to Lefty's Cheese Steak in Monroe Wednesday at noon and be a part of our our new show, A Taste of, and uh. And that's on Telegraph Road at noon. We are filming. Yes. We are not giving away free food. Yes. You have to buy the food that you're going to eat. But while you're eating, we'll be filming and you can have it. You'll be on camera. If, if You might be on camera. There's no guarantees, but you, you probably will. If you're in that, in that place, it's probable. You're not as pretty as me, but the camera might pan over to you. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Top of the morning. What up, Luke? Uh, good morning, CSL. Good morning. Yep. Redbeard says, I feel like shite. Aww, well, I hope you good. get better soon, Randy. You look like a you look like a red waterfall. You look like a red walker. A red <laughs> what's a red walker from that movie? Kind of like a white walker, but red. Isn't a White Walker a zombie in that one movie? You a, guys fro like? a frozen zombie. Yes, oh. yes. A White Walker is a actually the the leader. He's the one. The guys that those are the guys that turn the the other zombies into zombies. So they're the masters of the the zombie army. Wow. Game of Thrones. Gay. Okay. This time, this hey, I gotta say this this roach joint. This roach joint right here tastes like coffee. Oh shit! I'm sorry. <laughs> it tastes like Folgers. Because I'm drinking coffee and fucking smoking it. <laughs> hey, smoking coffee. Hey, we got a couple. We got a couple of vitties up in here. <coughs> Leper convict is getting over his COVID, and so is fucking red beard. I will hope nothing but the best for you guys. Right. I hope you guys both recover. Leper convicts in 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 Ireland with COVID. He tried to get laid, but instead he got fucking the vid. He wanted to get AIDS. He got the vid instead. Yeah. Yeah. No Terrible. I, I hit him up. I was like, dude, did you get laid? He goes, well, 
actually I got COVID. Yeah, he got <laughs> fucked. By, he got fucked by COVID. Yeah. Right, COVID fucked him. Royally. And we can joke about it because he's okay. I feel a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it would totally not be okay. Yeah. About COVID. Well, quit talking so loud. All right, I'm sorry, dude. Talk into the microphone. Hey, I'm in the microphone. My name is Tyler Rupp. I'd rather taste coffee right now. What? Than roach joints? No. No. I got a I got a Girl Scout cookie joint. You can't right here. taste nothing but spicy. That's good. That's I like, like Josh's spicy. life, bro. <laughs> Josh That's been had COVID. Not so bad. I had to stop. I gotta stop eating spicy food for a little bit though, because my belly for the past week has just been on fire. I told you. My Ever dad, since I ate those habanero, serrano, and jalapenos all at the same time. I tell you, I told you my dad made those uh, buffalo wings for my birthday. Mm -hmm. My stomach hurt for a month. And that was that was just buffalo. No, but he like. That's just Frank's sweet. hot, red hot, and fucking butter. No, he he mixes it with ranch. COVID raw dogged him. <laughs> <laughs> Raw dog, dude. In general, man, shit tastes so weird. Oh, you got the, uh, you got the vid too. You got the COVID. obviously you guys are living together, <laughs> you know. Damn but. it, you got the vid and you were texting me on Snapchat. I now, gotta, off, gotta now he's here. Ah, wow, what up, gear changer? What you did? Good morning, a brush of fresh fresh air, a brush of a breath of. Yeah, but. Lepper says he didn't. His taste buds didn't get affected. Oh, you're lucky. I actually know a lot of people that got COVID, and that's the one thing that they didn't get back for a minute. They said, well, After I know they had COVID. Yep. They yep. didn't have taste buds. Actually, I know someone still who had COVID like four yep. or five months ago and still can't taste anything. I was just gonna say the same thing. I know somebody that had it when it, you know, last year, and they still <laughs> don't taste or smell anything. Well. Uh -huh. And, you know, I will say this. Your taste has a big deal with your nose. If you can't breathe, if that air doesn't get to you, your taste buds aren't working as well either. So um, something to do with the sign. Your nose and your, like, your, your mouth in general are pretty connected. much connected. They're connected. Yeah, like if you have a sinus yeah. infection, it can make your teeth hurt. Like, um, All I say is if you lose your taste, start eating healthy. Cause you know all that shit sucks. Like you can yeah. just eat a, a chunk of broccoli. Vitamins, <laughs> right? So I don't take vitamins, man. I'm too. They just can't. I don't like the taste. I can't get past the weird ass medicine taste. And I could taste it in all vitamins and like meds. Like all I do is swallow them real quick. Yep. I, I can't do that either. Like I'll think my brain just thinks too hard on it. Like yep. she my starts swallowing a pill and she. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I do at the gathering. I don't know how many times I was like, I need a Motrin, I need etc. And, and I put it in my mouth and I'm like, I'd spit it right back out. And at a certain point, people are like, Oh, you just couldn't swallow it. And instead of like, What the fuck did you just spit out? Which was the answer I was getting after about three of those times. But after a while, everyone there knew, like, Oh, you couldn't swallow that ibuprofen. And I'm like, No, yeah. I, I can couldn't. swallow them horse You'll find it I, later yeah. on grass somewhere. I'll swallow this right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it, man. You need you need me to swallow this pill right here. <laughs> they come in, they come no, in the I'm gonna be like one of those older people that get their meds crushed up and apple and you drink. And shit. Like, <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Victoria says my friend Sierra still doesn't have taste or smell back, and that's who I was talking about. That's, wow. that's I can't remember if we said good morning to you, so good morning, gorgeous. Good morning. Uh, I'm not in your garage. Uh, Josh and Rupp aren't the fresh air. I'm the is. fresh air. Yep. Hey. Listen, I was going <laughs> to make a smart comment. Like, you're welcome. You're welcome for that breath of fresh air. But oh. Kayla, have you tried the gummy vitamins? Absolutely. I have about 12 different kinds of vitamins. And I just can't. Sure. I can't chew them, man. Or swallow them. So basically... They were giving me a whole bunch of pills. The, the little the little pill cup would be mm -hmm. full of pills, and I would they, they would literally be like, "We'll sit here and wait until you take them all." And I'm just like, "Whoop!" And they're gone. 
and they're I like, I don't know how people can do that. Like, there's some older people I know that do that too. Like, cup full of pills, down the hatchet to go. I couldn't like, do it at first, but once you, you they okay? made you do it, once they made you do it every day, you were like, dude, I'm not gonna take each pill individual individually. Oh shit! Rita says, smell lavender oil several times a day. It trains your bot, uh, your brain to get taste and smell back from COVID. You motherfucker, that was the coolest thing I've ever heard. Victoria says, I'll have to tell my friend that. Yes, we need to start that experiment right now. Yes. Smell some lavender, bit no. <laughs> Leper Convict says, I'm an expert swallower. Wait, that sounded weird. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Lena. Good she morning. says, Kayla! Flintstones vitamins are not good, Brenda. No, you have you must have had COVID for years. <laughs> no, no. Those are not good. Like those things, all. dude. That was the first thing I thought about when I said like I can't chew vitamins. Like those were the first thing that came to my mind was those fucking Flintstone vitamins. Redbeard says I'm an old man. I take Centrum. That shit tastes gross. What does it? Take Zycam gummies. The Zycam gummies, I could eat them gummies as a snack. I promise you. And <laughs> bunch of some gummies. Like, hey, Snack. Snacks. I just go up to Victoria. You know, we're laying there, and I snack, snack. Yeah. And she knows. She just go get me a Zyrtec. And be like, Here, bitch. You know, shut up. Here. <laughs> I'm gonna shout out my grandpa one more time. Shout out, grandpa. We go in his house. And my aunt comes over and cooks some dinner. Or cooks You're dinner, not wrong, Wookie. You're or not cooks wrong. dinner at her house and brings it over to him, you know. And that, that's how he gets his, you know, full course meal. This motherfucker in his whole entire house just had ice cream in his fridge and refrigerated snacks. Little Debbie's everywhere. He refrigerates those little Debbie's? Yeah. That's a man yeah. of my taste right there. I feel Swiss like. Swiss rolls, yes. strawberry rolls. Yes. Oh. They all deserve refrigeration. Dude, and same with the 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 uh, peanut butter wafer ones. What are they called? Nutter buddies. Nutter buddies. Nutter, Nutter butters. Those Nutter butters. those all all put them all in the fridge. The Nutter, Nutter buddies you put in the freezer. I put them in the freezer, one hundred percent, and they are smackalicious. Listen, I the morning jerk offs that. from squirrels. What? No, see, I can't do that with the nutter butters because I like to divide each layer. Like I like to break the, them apart. Yeah. yeah, and if it's frozen, then you have to hey. eat it like, like a popsicle. Like Kayla, you. Oh my God, I could kiss you on your forehead right now. <laughs> you eat those exactly how I eat them, dude. That's the best way to eat them. Like literally, you get so much more taste out of breaking them yep. into little wafers. You get the peanut butter and the chocolate. But I if you take when, a bite of the whole thing, it's just like wafers uh, and chocolate. Yeah, you don't really I, taste the peanut yeah. butter. Yeah. I love you even more now. <laughs> when, I, when I break them apart, I get mad at the ones that are just a wafer with chocolate on it. Yes. Yeah, because there's no, there's no peanut, peanut butter. butter. You're like, son of a bitch. I heard Fuck me. Eat that part. Like, I didn't see that. Like, yeah. <laughs> me too. I just shoved that fucker down my throat. Yeah, like, no one cares about you. Come yeah, on. What, <laughs> what, I, what I try to do is take half from one of them and like spread it across the one that's naked. And I'm like, all right, I'll do that. But when they're frozen, you can't pull them apart. Oh, you can't? No. I'll eat I them. Can't. I'll eat them normal when they're frozen. See. Like uh like the Reese's sticks. Those frozen fire too. Dude, Ooh, those Reese's. Sound, that would be good. Though. Reese's. No, Reese's sticks Reese's. is my favorite. Reese's. It's Reese's sticks. Not, Reese's. It's not Reese's sticks. R Regis. It's a man named Reese's. I love those Regis. It's cups. a man, it's a man named Reese. Regis is good. <laughs> Regis is great. I love Regis sticks, man. <laughs> Much love and glitter bombs, boys. Well, I got the hat on that you would, that I would be to just let's go walk and watch wrestling. Good morning, squirrels, by the wrestling. way. I missed you. Squirrel, I mean, squirrel. Leper says, I love Swiss rolls with a cup of tea. I've never tried that. You would, do you dunk it? I say, well, I've never tried Oh, no, they just, you know, because I like, together. I like, uh, how do you know? You ain't never been to all Ireland. Right. I like the donuts. Stick. You're gonna speak for all of you're speaking no, for all of Ireland, I'm, and you don't even know anybody I'm, from there. I'm speaking for the snackers. Okay? okay, okay, that's what I'm speaking for. I'll allow your statement to come guy. through. I'll, right. I'll right. allow right. the statement to come through. So I got my hot cup of coffee, 
and I'll take a bite of one of those donut sticks and just soak it with coffee in my mouth and my gullet. First, you take a bite of the donut stick and then you dunk it. So then it soaks up the, the no, coffee. No, the first That's bite. That's what I do. The, yeah, I know. The, but the first bite, yeah. since you can't dunk it, you just soak it with coffee in your mouth and you make the Because you right can there. dunk it, but it doesn't soak up anything. Yeah. A Kit Kat. Oh, no. I've never done that with way? a Kit Kat. You shut the fuck up, Rudy. I've never done that with a Kit Kat. <laughs> shut the front door. You're Rita probably Doobie? right. Doobie, doobie, doo. You remember that commercial? What was that? Was that a Budweiser commercial? That Budweiser. Doobie, doobie, doo. <laughs> I don't know. My, my. Do you remember the Budweiser frogs? No, but I remember this. Bud. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember Bud. that. And then another. Why? What Bud. about the ones why? on the radio? But why? Zer. Yeah. <laughs> what about the ones on the radio? Which one? Bud Light presents Real Men of Genius. Oh, yeah, I do like those. Real Men of Genius. Today, today we salute you, Mr. Edible Underwear Maker. <laughs> Mr. Edible. <laughs> Underwear maker. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, me and Jess actually got to hang out for the first time in a hot second yesterday. Nice. We got to have like a little girls' day. We got to fucking kill our stomachs. We. Aww, she says, I "Okay, well, I miss you, but Jody is amazing. She yeah. is amazing. But she ain't the real <laughs> brand, though. <laughs> I'm uh, the original brand, but besides that, <laughs> besides the point. <laughs> Moving along." We went to La Fiesta. <laughs> we ordered every single dessert they had. We ordered four out of the six appetizers they had. Yeah, we ordered like a huge ass plate. Like we had this little table and like the food was like coming off the table. Like Dude. we had to scoop back a little bit because there exactly. was so that, they're saying food. they had all this food and Jessica says, oh yeah, I got leftovers. I was like, well, I want some. It was a taco. It was one you telling me they had all this like food. This you guys <laughs> ate a oh my god. They ate a table of food and this bitch brought me back a fucking taco. A taco this big because it wasn't even a whole taco. She what got like was it? tacos. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys ate all that food. So I'm eating this um, taco. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, we did eat a lot of it, but I mean we got a couple of drinks in us and then we were like, you know, it's time to go. Actually, we lied. Yeah. <laughs> okay, T. What'd you say? I'm eating this little taco that she got. I'm like, oh, it's just out of her plate or whatever. Then she says that they ordered the whole menu and put it on the table. I was like, what are you guys? What the fuck? The Irish it love tea with it. everything. <laughs> it was a girl's dinner and it was well worth it. I felt super sick afterwards, but it was so worth it. And their drinks there, you couldn't even taste that alcohol in them. They were phenomenal. Squirrel says, hope you're loving your new job. Yeah, I am. It's great. It's a good time. Yeah. What what I seen you, what was it, Wednesday, Thursday? One of those days, and you, she just got off work, and she uh, had a good day. I asked her, I was like, I haven't seen you in forever, so how, how's work? It's just, oh, it's good. I was on the floor today. Yeah, because yeah. I don't <laughs> usually work the floor, like, but low-key, I like working the floor. I like working with my people. I like getting one-on-one -on -one with the people I work with, you know? I think Leper Convict's kind of right here. Every, almost everybody has a little bit of Irish in them, especially especially if you're, in a, you're, like, born in America and you're white. I've got a little bit of captain <laughs> in me. My grandma is, like, a lot Irish. I don't know exact percentage, but she's a lot. I got a good morning, well, handsomes, and Kayla is here. Harps. Good morning, beautiful. How are you? I got a red tint beard, I guess. It's like brown and red at the same time. It kind of but looks a this little bit like red Rico, from where I'm not at right now. Like it looks like on the side of your face, it looks like a tint of red, but when I see you in person, it looks brown. You yeah. put that hat on, you became Irish. Right. Well, all it got is a lot of dots. Pastor, say something to me in Irish. Um, Shalali. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was was a show growing up. They would say at the end, "Dooby dooby 
What? Be a doobie. Be a doobie, not, not, a, not don't a don't be. be. I don't know what that is. I never. Be a doobie, not a don't be. That's funny. Well, you're already there. Read a doobie. Yeah, be a doobie. Never convict. I'm almost part. I'm also part Hungarian. I think I'm part Scandinavian. I'm not. What I am is English, Irish, and then uh, Norwegian, Swedish, uh, Scottish, like just that ish area. Ish. Dude, if I was Norwegian, so I mean, I'm an English. I'm Viking, English, and Irish. I feel like my lineage was a Viking king because look at me, I'm just massive. Remember what I said yesterday? You that like ancestor thing. I did. You did. I'll pull, my, I'll pull mine up right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, Josh isn't an Indian. Yeah, yeah. My whole I life. I have like some Irish in me. My whole life, they've my been saying was like Native American or something. Well, that's what you think. That's what you think because that, I know that's what I think. Well, but here's that's the deal. What I was told, but like. Yes, the, about my my whole family, you know, my what is it? My great great grandma, maybe her. My, my, her so my great 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 grandma is supposedly 100 percent Cherokee. OK, but I have none of that in me. OK, okay. Oh, my name being outlaw. I like hey, that. Cherokee. Cherokee. I definitely my baby, like she's that. a Chippewa. Oh, she's a one of a kind. kind. I, that's one of the best so country songs yep. of all time. I'm an Indian outlaw. Actually, I want to show you these paintings just because Shirley's here. So, Squirrel is like, we painted last night and I thought about you the entire time. I was like, Squirrels would be so proud of us. But now that I finished my painting, you might not be that proud. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of fruit roll ups. Oh, I fucking like that. Oh, I do like that's that. That's my friend Cassie's. That's Landon's. I love that. Landon killed it. I like shit uh, like that. And then that's mine. <laughs> pull that's, back a little bit. Yeah, pull back. There so we go. We see. That looks like a mountain <laughs> range. It looks like a mountain range and a sunset, and right? A sunset. That's what it was supposed to be, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It looks like it. It's not bad. Uh-oh. We can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, covered yeah. that boy up. Covered it up. I was like, you know, I'm... I'm Pretty decent at painting. We started painting away, and I look over at Cassie's. I'm like, "Oh shit, maybe you know what? You want to paint my mountains for me? Like, <laughs> wanna, like carve this mountain up, thing out for me, please." But <clears throat> I thought about you all the time, squirrels. I think it was. I think it was good. I liked it. The sunset. I I seen the whole picture. I, I seen it. Says yeah. I always thought Tear Up's beard was a bit red. Yeah, you fucking, or, or you fucking. Uh, Tell me she's petting yes. the dog right now. <laughs> yes. Yes. She I got a whole lot of Irish in side, me. Dude. Mom says she's got Irish. And grandma's 50% Cherokee. But I didn't get any of it. Yeah. Okay. Ain't no Cherokee. According dog. to this. Okay, so here's where we. I'll, I'm tw according. And let me tell you, this changes. Every every so often, the more data that comes in, the more stuff that it changes. Because at first, it told me I was fifty percent English, and then the more I've longer that's gone by, the more it's changed. I used to be a one percent African, also, but he's close. Okay, so Dude, her head's as big as the screen now. England, twenty eight percent in England. Irish, I'm nineteen percent. Scotland, I'm nineteen percent. Germanic Europe, fourteen percent. Where the fuck is that? <laughs> Wales, eight percent. Sweden, six percent. Norway, four percent, and two percent Spain. Dude, I'm a hundred percent <laughs> Wales because I'm as big as a whale. <laughs> <laughs> Wales, I thought was in England. What are what are the what are the whalers called? Are they just called a whole bunch of whalians? <laughs> whalians? I thought, oh shit, I thought Wales was in England. Where's Wales? They're in the ocean. Well, you're going to have, Leper Convict might be over They're in the ocean better. because they're an error dweller. <laughs> nice, I'm, I'm sorry. Nice try. Yeah. nice try. I just wanted to. He I'm said, sorry. nice try. I'm weak. 
Yeah, he always <laughs> does that, and then he cuts me off randomly at random times. I hate oh, it. Man. If I ever met a woman abroad, I'd ask, "Do you have any Irish in you?" And if she said no, I'd say, "Would you like some?" <laughs> that probably that won't like work, it. but maybe with your accent, it will. I hey. would like to see you try it though, because I would love to see her reaction. What hey. up, Green Ghost? Hey, come make my beard more redder, Daddy. <laughs> Good morning, May. How are good you doing? Good morning. Are we actually good evening to you oh. over in the Philippines? Good evening. Hope you had a great day. Nice dog. He Sueño. Thanks. She's a Doberman. The Welsh. He's Irish. <laughs> She's Irish. He says the Welsh, Welsh are from Wales. Okay. Welshians. So Leper says uh, Wales, Scotland, England all make up the islands of the UK. Okay. So you're, you're right from the UK. You're yeah, mostly I'm, from and the UK. from the I'm a Viking UK. So basically, someone in everywhere my, over there, somewhere in my ancestorship, uh, a Viking came over to to England, raped and pillaged, did their thing. Yep. You know, a man, and then the English DNA came over to Ireland, poor, did the same thing. Poor great 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 <clears throat> great great great. But that's great, what I mean, right there. That's what I mean. What I was talking about yesterday, like if you go past your own like synchronicities of everything that had to happen in order for me to be alive. Okay. True. Like just, just with your parents, no, but go, go further and further and further and further. We're all survivors of the generations of wars and famines. And our ancestors are the ones that have lived mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. That's how we got. Whoa, dude. We're technically the best of the best. Sm smoking of yeah, the I'm pretty cuz I don't think I have T-Rex just got a brain injury. He can't fathom like that. <sighs> That's yeah. a lot. We understand T-Rex. We get it. We I'm a super it. survivor, bro. I'm going to get survivor <laughs> tattooed on my fucking eyeball. I'd probably get slapped. You I might past you. I doubt you'll get you'll get a laugh. I doubt you. Say, you might slapped. get a laugh. You know, I wouldn't slap how, like, you if I was a girl. when you go up to them. It's a little wet island, smaller than my country, <laughs> my county. Sorry. So Wales. Yeah, Wales. And they're Welsh. Lovely painting. What? A, what? A, dude, I would rather be a Walian. Why? Because I'm from Wales. You know, we we're called What's Michigan. Sound like, sometimes we some. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we have good days, and sometimes we have bad. T rope. It's okay. We accept you for all. This is the earth dweller of the day. Earth dweller of the day. This is the earth dweller of the day. This is the earth dweller of the day. This is the earth dweller of the day. See what's walking on this world. Okay. 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 What is the earth dweller? Of the day, what? So, Wookie so. says eighty-five percent of people on the planet are descended from Genghis Khan. Yep. I'm not one of them. What um, the fuck is that? Um, first of all, since I didn't resort to violence because I have this hat on, I'm gonna give you a stern talking to Josh. You don't interrupt Kayla when she comes in as a special guest. We didn't know she was gonna be there, Just sir. Like old time. Hey, we did. You didn't. Wait, nobody just told me. Nobody. That's because you tell everybody all the time. Josh is the one who runs thing. I just show up and do my thing. So why why would Kayla tell you she was coming up? Right. I said. Thought... You're right. Okay. <laughs> good job. Cool. This is a fucking, this is <laughs> this is a pygmy marmoset. They like to call them the finger monkeys because they're they're cute as shit. They're cute as shit. They um these are the. These are the smallest. I would definitely have one of these. Smallest monkey in the world. Am I allowed to have one for a pet? Um, You are, but you have to have a certain wildlife license. Okay. And you have a hat on right now that looks like you have a wildlife license, so I would give you one. Um, 35% of people have never seen the moon? Oh, my goodness. That's actually a scary thought. Uh, I see it. Kayla, come down under. Come to Australia. They're not in Australia, I don't think. These are the smallest. They eat uh, insects. Their favorite thing to eat is butterflies. 
Really? Yeah, because they can jump 15 feet into the air. And they are only as big. That's a full grown on that dude's finger. They live in the Western Amazon Basin in South America. One of the most miniature monkeys and smallest primates on the globe. So they are cute though, but I watch. I follow this user on TikTok who has a finger monkey, and they are extremely a lot of care. Like, yep. more well, than yeah. a fucking newborn baby. This, All this monkeys says, are. This says they live in like in the natural. Uh, their biggest threats are pet, the pet trade, and habitat loss. Yep. So uh, they usually in the wild they would live in groups of six to six members. And they communicate through visual, vocal, and chemical signals. Yep. So you, if you're going to get one of these, you better have more than one. Yep. They're dead silent. They're dead silent to get away from predators, right? Yep. And and when they see a predator, until they like when a predator locks on and sees it, they yell, they scream, and they fucking they they get the f out of there, bro. Uh, you know how small the babies are? No. They're one third of a pound. Five inches long when they're born. That's so cute. They're oh. so small you can barely barely spot them. It says when you have one as a pet, they like want to be attached to you at all times. Like you yep. can't go anywhere without it. Like you have to, like you are its mother. Like it has to be on you and touching you at all times. Because it's a it's a group animal. Yep. It, 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 Just like us. Yeah, it's a group animal. It needs that. You know, it's going to have separation it's, anxiety if it has nobody. It says uh, babies are born after just four and a half months. Uh, and then when they get three months old, they first eat. They'll eat tree sap and insects. During these, the initial days, the baby rides around on the back of the father, who is the fam family's primary caretaker. The mom and the dad <clears throat> stay together throughout life. Do they? Yep. They get married and shit. It there. says, however, when it's time to eat some food, the father gives the baby to the mother. She will do nursing and take care of the baby's food as well. Yeah. Moreover, the troop members teach the baby about where and how to find food. Yeah. So it's a family. Yeah. Family it's, effort. It's like aunt and uncles are over here showing you how to, how to survive. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Raise a, whole, raise a whole fucking fleet of them. That's what they're doing lion prides, too. Um, you can get them on different websites, it says, but they're mainly tropical. They require warm climate to survive. Yep. yep like they, like T Rep said, highly social, super smart. Monkey can learn anything quickly due to their intelligence and clever mind. However, keeping them as a pet will re it requires, like you said, permit legal permission. Additionally, marmosets have. A habit of leaving of living in social groups to uh yeah that's what you just said they live the 10 10 12 years so if you're they basically said the same thing if you're gonna get it you need more yeah. than one they they uh live 10 to 12 years in the wild and they live up to 18 years in uh the pet uh, being a pet um but they are highly sought after they are the most pet tradable monkey because they are so cute they don't have nails like they have, other monkeys. They have, they have claws. claws. Yep. And they climb the tree. That, that helps them try, climb the tree a lot faster. Yep. Um, like, like he said, the, their favorite food is butterflies, but they also eat nectar, fruit, and other leaves and other bugs and stuff, too. They eat a whole bunch of flying insects because they just jump. Do you know how high? Did 15 you say feet. That? 15 yep. feet. Yep. Yep. Um, its territory is about 25 to 100 acres. And it's tiny, and it don't get as it don't. It's not even as heavy as an apple. And like you said, they're monogamous forever for their whole life. I know everything about these things. I really want one, but I know I'm not. Uh, the cost is usually fifteen to twenty five hundred. Yep. I want okay. one so bad, but like the amount of care it requires is like scary. I'm like yep. more scared to own one of those than I am having my child. Yeah. Because uh, like Tyler's exotics, he really's gotta he's he's gotta tend that monkey all day. That that's monkey funny. wants to be on Tyler at all times. You can tell when they walk up, when they leave that Caesar, he knows what to do. He goes right onto Tyler's neck and he just sits there like 
I don't know if I could handle having a monkey on me at all times. Like, it'd yep. be I mean, so cute. It gets, for it a gets while bored and then, easily. Yeah, Super yeah, easy. Like, Dude. It's bored. You said? It's, yeah, because it's so smart and. Unless you're teaching it and keeping it busy, it gets bored, just like we would do. So give it a job. So is it start fucking lighting fires? Clean the house, little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Following states where which allows. Let's see. So you're allowed. It doesn't say Michigan. Yeah, because it's cold. You're allowed. No, it's not. Why it's cold in the winter? That's not why. Wisconsin is cold in the winter. Oh, that's really cold. <laughs> it says Washington, Nebraska, Kansas, Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia, North and South Carolina, Wisconsin, Arkansas, Missouri, Nevada, Alabama, and North Dakota. And Europe, too. Sorry. Asia and Africa, North and South America, Australia, says, Antarctica. <clears throat> Young marmosets no doubt are cute and affectionate but with age they become aggressive and un unpredictable dude the, the, look at the one yes, that they, they can attack and bite the owners if they get aggressive due to any reason it's better to let them live in their in their normal environment it's better that's what it is it's better this is super cute but they'll bite the fuck out of you bro right is the they tiniest month while you're yeah. sleeping right I'm gonna try to pull up a video. Right they put now. them in giant bird cages and stuff at night to, to nest and and go to sleep. This girl on TikTok sleeps with hers, which is scary. It's a lot. Okay. 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 Pay attention. People are watching. They're counting on you. So which way are you voting? Everyone wants to know your vote. World, meet Nanita. Just to clarify things, Nanita votes in up, simply, and she's not, in fact, an Ewok. She's a pygmy marmoset, the they world's can... smallest true monkey. Pygmy marmosets are native to the rainforests of the Amazon basin, but Nanita was born in captivity. Don't get the wrong idea, though. Nanita isn't a victim of the pet trade. She's the result of an important conservation effort and an ambassador for her species. What up, She's blue a special face? special case, born deaf and rejected by her parents. Nanita had to be hand-reared. She's developed an unusual bond with humans. Here she is, About 16 only a couple years. months old. These are the things baby Nanita likes to do. Eat, climb stuff, play, and have her fur toothbrushed. <laughs> Aww, these look cutie. They can turn their heads 180 degrees. Oh, can they? Yeah. Simply says, sending Jody writer. big hugs and good vibes. See, she's enormous. Yep. Nothing but love to Jody the right now. She's likes to do now. She can tell you guys about Eat. it, though. I will. Climb stuff. Play. Uh, ain't a dwelling butt monkey. Have her fur <laughs> toothbrush. Wrestle with her toothbrush. Have another toothbrush massage. And more playing. Nanita is ridiculously cute, but that's kind of a problem for her species. Along with habitat loss, the pet trade has been terrible for pygmy marmosets as well as most of the world's other primates. Scary music. Turn it off. So cute, but I still feel like, you know, leave them in the wild. Leave them to do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, if you want to keep seeing them, then don't right, fuck Right, exactly. Them. 
They're because very playful. I can only imagine how many people actually just get them to breed them or some shit and then like sell them to people who don't give two shits. They only want them because they're oh, so cute. Cool. I'm not Tom Brady. Yeah, they, they just get them just to sell them. So, I'm not Tom Brady. Oh. <laughs> I'm Tyler Rupp. That was dude. the worst throw I've ever. I almost pulled my shoulder reaching. It for was it. my left hand. I'm not lefty. You suck. <laughs> you suck, T Rupp. <laughs> T Rupp sucks. Do you, uh, do you. <laughs> Or as Dude. Landon says, shut up, T-Rock. Shut up, T-Rock. What are you? Oh, so what Lefty. Are you? What? I caught it with my righty. Tom. Tampa Tom. Tamis. Tampa Tom Brady. You can, you can call me Tamis. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady the second. Exactly, Kayla. Leave an wild animals in the wild. Yeah, because, like, honestly, as much as my selfish needs, I'm like, oh, they're so cute and I want one. Like, yeah, they fucking took me out of the wild and look, I don't belong here. Yeah, I know. Look how fucking erupted you know? lights have been. You shave a monkey and then look at him. Now he's a fucking ogre. <laughs> now he thinks he's a whale. Like, now he thinks he's a fucking sex icon. <laughs> What have we done? What have we created? Put me a put a mermaid tail on me and take some pictures of me and see how people be like. Dude, let's go. I'm down anytime. No, we, we gotta you. finish. We gotta do the fucking the food video again. We need Who? we need to find a bathtub that somebody will let us use to pour ice cream and stuff all over T Ru. And Kayla? Uh, huh? My bathtub <laughs> is not gonna fit T Rub. I'm just gonna say that now. That'd be even funnier. <laughs> be like a big guy in a small bathtub. Like, who doesn't want to see a fucking muffin top mermaid? Like, I would look like a like a fat ice cream cone that everybody wants to eat. Kayla like, you know I those. My hand on like I could go the rest of life without seeing <laughs> those <laughs> ice cream cones. But that you know, if I accidentally scrolled across it on Facebook, I wouldn't be mad. I'd be confused, but not mad. See, at least you're honest. At least you're honest. Who wants to put ice cream on me? Well, I'll <laughs> say? a container ice cream on T-Rub, like, for real. Like, can I just get a super soaker and, like, soak you in some chocolate and caramel? Yes, on the video. Please, like, because in I just want to do that at the only, gathering. Only, like, the super soaker, so. only if we can use your bathtub. Ugh. You know what? Bring it. I don't care. Boom. That's fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's <laughs> a great idea. If, and caramel. If, <laughs> we can get, if we can get chocolate syrup to go through a super soaker, that would be sick as fuck. Like, for Mix real. It with water, you put a little bit of water in there. Nope. Mix it with water. Or milk. Mix it up That's our milk next video. Pour it in there. I've thought this through because this is was like this was our plan when Lardy B was on at the gathering, but I, we forgot our super soakers. So and we need to, but you okay, guys, we got to stop talking about it. Oh yeah, we're but, live. But that is what we're gonna do. We just so, open your mouth, tear up, and just let me fucking hammer chocolate in there, bro. <laughs> Dude, let don't pour it too hard. In chocolate. Josh threw pizza way too hard last time. <laughs> And we can get uh, we can get uh, uh, Cassie and Carly to come over vote. and help. I got a vote right here. She said, "Yeah." Yes. Oh my God! I'm gonna have uh, what, so ice cream baristas. So I will. <laughs> yes, they'll be they they'll be the ones putting the stuff on you. Ice cream baristas. You got you got to wear my. You don't have you you dress how you want to dress. You don't have to fucking dress sexy or anything like that. You just Look, we're gonna put. But we are gonna put a mask on you. We I want I you guys to wear a mask. My Mike Wazowski costume on, and yes. I will pour chocolate all over you. Yes. I promise. I'm prepared. I'm telling you, if I've already had this thought through, like right. I'm prepared. I have, I have a reptar animal. suit. I just didn't want to give it up, but at this point, I have, I'll give it up. I have a reptar and a cow suit that would fit both of them. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> yeah. We can actually make this happen as soon as possible. Yeah, literally. ASAP. 
I'm not opposed. I've been, <laughs> I've been waiting for my calling. I've been waiting for this. Well, here it is. I'm calling. Get in my bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! There's that your calling, buddy. Just follow I've that whatever that. you like. All right. That's the follow nicest that thing. thing. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Lever convict <laughs> says we can come out there, and he he he'll volunteer too. Ooh, I volunteer. To so we have to get we have. I want you you girls to wear masks too, Jesus. so you don't see your faces. Just so it's like mysterious, also. And yeah, weird. I got one. I'm prepared. Hell I got yeah. a clown one. We're good. So does Josh. Yep. I'll bring that mask, the one I have. Someone can wear that. It'll be great. It'll be a good time. What up, Bodie? How good. you doing, brother? Good morning. Brother. Bong rip. Morning from down under. Look at my hat, bro. I'm about to go golfing. Okay. So I, had, I wanted to say this. Uh, Wookie says, if I was Jay-Z rich, I'd have competing gangs of meerkats in my backyard. <laughs> or maybe wombats. <laughs> <laughs> and just have hawks flying over just for, like, the, the scare cat. Yeah. And a giraffe. Perfect. This sounds like I had a neighbor. Movie. My neighbor growing up, and I was in, like, middle school, high school time. He had a giraffe one summer. He had buffalo. He had... Uh, zebras he had he's all sorts he's had those little chinese deer with fangs the musk musk deer yep elena's in too fuck yeah that's what i'm talking about elena's in i like that so is t-rup gonna be on all fours you'll see you'll see gotta wait you find out. Shot. straight up chocolate yeah <laughs> money shot money shot <laughs> bop, bop, money shot <laughs> Pour that chocolate on my back, Daddy. <laughs> you know, we might need Jess over here too. This is get you know, this is some of this is for like for your wife. Like all the ladies can do that money shot. No, my yeah. wife's gonna shove a chocolate dick in my ass. I'm not doing it. Victoria can come over too and be in, yep. you know, all of us. Yep. Like, I like it. This is my, real here, weird, okay, but I so like it. My plan, here's my plan. The only reason I said you three at first is because my plan is to gradually, the more videos we do, add more girls, yep. more people. I'd prefer to be we girls. We could always start with Jess and more, not even up, that, and then catch Carly and Cassie up after, like eventually, because they yep. work so damn much. Yep, that's true. Um, and I'm not even saying you're right. Not not even girls, but and not even people. I just want. Now that they said we got costumes, I want people in costumes. <laughs> Just oh, add yeah. the dogs in slowly. <laughs> have a cat sitting on the counter. Like, next thing you know, you got two Luna dogs be in licking the your ass. Oh, my God. This is going to be a mess, but I love it. It'll wash out. Mm -hmm. the, pizza, the, the garlic sauce washed out. Dude, took three days for garlic sauce no, to get bro, off. Bro, taking a shower afterwards, and he's washing it out. you going to scrub the sides and everything, like. Yeah, I know what I have to do. Okay. You know, it, as long it as you're mentally prepared. Yeah, it costs a lot to be sexy. I get it. No, we're, this this video is going right on YouTube and Facebook. No, I I don't want the OnlyFans yet. T Rup, well, you have to wear a bathing suit though, because the only Yo, reason OnlyFans is taking away um, nudity. You're not to show nudity Sexual. after a certain but, date. Uh. You have to wear a bathing suit because the reason TikTok had an issue with it, the reason a couple of our the, those clips got shut off is because they couldn't tell if you had any clothes on. We're, oh, yeah. They thought you were naked. They just fucking raw dog and pizza sauce and garlic all over. What the about place. a Speedo? That's, I'm cool with that. That's a but, bathing suit. But I don't. It still looked like it I had a It still will look like on. you got nothing on. Yeah, you're right. Maybe like tight spandex shorts. Like Put some leggings on. Yeah, tight short leggings Put like some short, biker shorts on. Short. Yes, there you go. That's what they're called. Biker bike shorts. Shorts. Bike shorts. Dude, hey, Rita I would says you may be able to twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Hell yeah. Her in one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, for sure. Hell yeah. Um, okay, let's get to this spotlight. I want to be a dollar dog too. We're going to listen to uh, David Goggins and Jocko, two of the most hardest beast of men on this whole planet 
tell you how to turn yourself into a monster from their point of view, how they did it. Let's see. Want to be a monster? Want to be a monster, daddy? I'd rather you hate me and get better than like me and stay the same. I mean, you saw the video that we watched earlier today of Goggins draining his knee. That would stop me from running ever again because I would think in my head, okay, I'm going to ruin my cartilage. I'm going to need a knee replacement. I would start thinking, I would go down that line. But he is perpetually in this push it mindset. You know, the, what he talk, calls the dog in him. You know, he's got that dog is in him all day long and he feeds that dog. We have an obligation to live our lives to the absolute fullest. Life is one big tug of war. And you don't win that tug of war by pushing the rope. You have to pull that motherfucker. And a lot of times you have to pull yourself through life. This morning, I did not want to get up. So I had to pull my ass out of fucking bed. But guess what? The more and more I got into that run, each fucking step into that run, I started gaining more and more confidence. We think that we're working our ass off, working hard. You know, we've been working out hard in the gym for a month, but we haven't seen any results. So we get all fucking down and poopy pants and shit. You study for 30 minutes for a fucking test. And you didn't do as well as you thought. What the fuck do you expect? You're not putting in the work. You have to do more. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of shit, man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. It's not until then, once you get there, that's when you fucking know you've got enough. I am going to win i am going to battle and i am going to fight and i am going to use every tool i have to crush my enemy but to gain that fucking confidence you have to fucking be willing to pull yourself out of bed pull yourself out of a funk pull yourself out of whatever the fuck life is throwing at you to gain that confidence by the fucking time the run was over i was like fuck you motherfucker i once again beat your ass you gotta be willing to find the confidence. Mass stay, stay in the war. Stay in the battle. Armor your mind. Being aggressive. That means you are ready to attack. What it does mean is that you are going to get after it. You are going to move fast. You are going to think fast. You are going to outthink and outmaneuver the enemy. I, I tell you this. I started really realizing that when I started overcoming myself. I started getting around these real alpha males these hard, hard men. And I always put people way above me when I was growing up. Like my God, they had to have a lot more than me to get to where they're at. And a lot of them did. But once you get around the, the best of the best of the best people, you can kind of start breaking them down and realize that, man, you, you're just as fucked up as me. Like, like we all have, but all you did was you hit it better. So many people, before I give them a workout plan, they're talking about recovery. Everybody, everybody that hears me speak, they want to go straight to recovery. Work out first. Huh. Work out first. <laughs> Before you talk to me about recovery. How to recover, yeah. Work out first. We are always looking for, like, whenever I talk to people, people take my words and they and they and they put it in a way to where they want to feel comfortable. This guy, you know, they 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 want to put you in a box. They want to put a title on you. No, you're putting a title on me to make yourself feel better about yourself. If you read this book of mine and you see where I came from, this person was this, this person was not built. This, this, this person was not made by God. Mm -hmm. This person, sorry, this person was built. I made this person. I made this person by diving in to the insecurities that life gave me. Because now they're yours. They're yours to own. If you're not smart, call yourself dumb. It's okay. Cause you are, but take that now as you put yourself down. If you're fat, call yourself fat. I used to be 300 pounds. Mm. We, we want to talk so soft to ourselves. We're looking for that recovery day. And that recovery day is everything in your life. Everything in your life is a recovery day. We're looking for it. It's not coming. It's not coming. Mm. Get over that recovery day. And that's the mentality I took with me. And what happened through that process was all the frivolous things of life start to float away. I used to tell people lies so they would like me. Because mm. I was so insecure. 
when you start to build yourself up and start to have the one thing that we don't have is confidence. Yep. Real, authentic confidence from hard work. Everything else goes, but you, you no longer look to other people for your self-esteem. The foundation. That's right. Or, yeah. You now know. I walk in a room now and I know the hours and years and decades I put in the day to God. That's something. It's not on the wall. It's not a trophy on the wall. It's not a medal on your neck. It is actually a feeling in your heart. And people go, why don't you ever smile? I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I do have a stoic look on my face. I'm a, I'm a very focused person. But the feeling I have in my soul and in my heart, that's why I need to smile. Where I got my work ethic from was the hours I had to spend learning this. When you sit down and you're not smart, and you have a disability, yeah. And you still want to be at the top of your class. I didn't want to just get by. When I realized that I can learn through hard work and I can beat the valedictorian in school, but I got put in 10 hours more a day than he does. You know what kind of strength comes from that? When you're sitting down, that guy, that, that valedictorian studied for an hour, and you know I caught you. I caught you, and I am dumb. But I have the work ethic to catch you. That's where David Goggins got really invented. Yeah. Was at a kitchen table with 20 spiral notebooks that were empty. And then three months later, yeah. they were full. And when you can go through that, I still have them in my storage unit. You go through these spiral notebooks of your life and you realize this is how I learned. This is unbelievable. There's no miles. It's not about the miles. It's that having a discipline every day to say, for me to learn this one math problem. It's gonna take me 10 hours. And that's where it, and you realize through hard work, you can do, you can outwork anybody, no matter how badass they are. In our current world, but how can we save ourselves every day? When you look around at the world, when it looks sometimes like the world is going insane, when people are going crazy, you have to kind of work to save yourself every day. You have to pull yourself back into sanity and back onto the path and not allow yourself to become a prisoner of your own personal gulag. And these gulags, these Soviet gulags, if you want to build your own personal gulag in your life, you do it the same way that the Soviets did it. You do it with lies. Lies on top of lies. And the Soviets lied on top of lies to build these gulags. And in your life, if you lie to yourself, if you allow that to happen and you put lies on top of lies, you will build yourself your own personal gulag. So don't allow it. Turn me up. That was loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Turn me up. Why is it I so? I listen to speeches like that every single morning. Yeah, I love. Well, where am I? I love those. Uh, it changes your Actually, whole day. Like when you wake up and you like me for my personal reason why I do it is like because I wake up and I'm like fuck this. Like, dude, I do not want to go to work. Like. I don't. You gotta pull yourself out of bed. Yeah, like <laughs> no one's gonna save you but yourself, bitch. Yeah. Get the fuck up and create this fucking. T Rup, this is for life. you. He says you don't have to resort to OnlyFans just because we don't sell Molly no more. <laughs> 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 yes. Did you like Hi, Massel. It's like a snake in the grass waiting for his time to strike. <laughs> and then during the video, he sent a good, uh, a nice, uh, he put the link up in there. What up, Frank? 
Good you morning, sir. Motherfucker. Good job, Mazel. Dude, <laughs> I'm looking at his signature on the table right now. Mazel? Yep. 5421. What up, Triple B? Good morning. Hey, hey. Um, good to see you. Trying to get through these comments, and then we're going to get out of here. Yeah, I got to go to Toledo, actually. Yep. So. Yep, the illness can't complete with compete with the fighting Irish. The fighting Irish. You are fucking. Leopard liked that video. Just cough left, but most of the symptoms are gone. He says, okay. Boom. That's what you get for trying to find some snatch, bro. <laughs> I was waiting for the day I was be I was able to say that, but <laughs> Masshole and your and Frank are saying hi. Hi. I hope um, you guys have a great Sunday. T I'm on the hunt for Hot Wheels. Fuck L yeah. Later, Bodie. Okay, yep. It is that time. Everybody's gonna go. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye. I love you all. And bye bye. See you. Guys have a great week. I hope you guys do great things this week. Yeah. See you in the morning. Peace yeah. out, everybody. Hello. I'll, Kayla, I'll see you tonight. I'll see you tonight, too, Kayla. Peace out. Love you guys. Peace. Love you. She said it. <laughs> She gave me a little kiss to everybody. Uh, my, uh, my heart hurt.